Hello everyone and welcome back again to Beginner Sewing with Mary. I am back and better than ever. Um, I just wanted to let everybody, know, ever, let everybody know that I'm doing just fine. I got over that little bug that I had and um, I am raring to go. So this week I'm going to be focusing on um, making, showing you how to do seams and how to do different types of stitches. Um, and I'm really look forward to that. And I'm also going to throw our project in there at the end too. Um, this weekend I will release a, another video um, on something you can make. Anyways, um, over the holidays we ended up getting new, new furniture for our living room because it was about that time. And so uh, my husband came up with this great idea of making a specific area in our living room for my sewing just because I'm actually I was actually all over the place like in the living room the dining room everywhere so um, we got together and made up this fun little area uh, for me to sew in and I want to show you this okay so when you walk into our front door this is what you'll see this is our living room. There's my one little dog over there. She's resting. The other one is down here at my feet looking at me. And the parrot is in the background. There's a parrot in the parrot's cage. Okay, so this will be, this is my new sewing area. Underneath here is my, my basic beginner sewing machine, which is uh, going to be taken in to get tuned up and repaired. This is the new one that my husband got me, um, and I love it. It's a great little machine. Here is some of my recording equipment, the tripod, my microphone that I use, and my light. Um, one thing I wanted to say, I think this is like a great thing for people who sew to get. Not just for videoing, but if you have something that's really complicated, um, or like tiny stitches. This is perfect because it gives you extra light on that spot. First of all, when you walk in, I wanted you to see this. This is something I got probably I mean, many, many years ago from Creative Memories. It is a um, cup holder that attaches to your desk. And I have all kinds of types of tool, tools in here that I might need for my, my sewing projects. Here's my scissors, my pens, my pencils. This is a new mat that I got from my daughter. It's an ironing mat, so you don't need to take out your ironing board. You just get out the iron and you press anything you need to press, and it's right next to my sewing machine. I'm sorry, the parrot is talking right now. So he's gotta be in the conversation. This is what my sewing area looks like from this area. I've got everything organized there. I've got a little bag that I made for my scraps and stuff like that. I made this little bag that I hang underneath here. I've got everything I need, all my tools. This is my favorite part of this area, and that is artwork from my family. The left-hand side top one is my father-in-law's. He's a photographer. The one to the right is my son when he was like in the second grade and he's 16 now. The one right here with the, the tiger, that is from my daughter She was when she was in college. And this one here is from, it's a watercolor from my mother-in-law that she did. Um, she does watercolors and oil paints. She does some beautiful work. So I have my artist inspiration right here. And I think you guys remember when I did the tutorial on this hat. And this cupboard, these two cupboards right here that I put together, those contain all my fabric. So I went through and I was able to get all my fabric organized and set up in there. And one of the things I wanted to show you, one of my favorite tools that um, I got for my birthday is this wrist pin cushion. It is one of the most comfortable pin cushions that I've ever gotten. And it's by Bohin, I believe. 
That's how you, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. And it's fantastic. But I use both of these. I put this on my wrist and I use this one that I made um, before. One of my first little videos was on um, making that pin cushion. Okay, so this is my spot. And when I sit down at my desk, this is what I see. My little doggy and my sewing machine and the beautiful view outside. All right, guys, that's the end of my tour. I want you to go out and have a wonderful day. Enjoy your sewing journey. And just remember that God loves you. Have a blessed day.